documents appear to include sensitive information regarding the war in Ukraine. In particular, U.S. intelligence assessments of the performance of both the Ukrainian and Russian forces. The Pentagon has confirmed that many of the documents appear to be in the similar format used to provide updates to senior leaders, which would imply the leaks occurred at a high level. I'm just not going to get into uh, the, the, the specifics, specifics of this beyond saying what you've heard others across the interagency say, which is that the Department of Defense and the intelligence community are reviewing and assessing the validity of these documents. Uh, there is no question, of course, that they present a risk to uh, national security, but uh, I'm just not going to get into specifics. Sure. The leak of the documents was first reported by the New York Times, and in addition to revealing intelligence about the war in Ukraine, they also exposed the extent of U.S. eavesdropping on key allies, including Israel and South Korea. The reaction in capitals like Seoul has been angry, spilling over into the South Korean National Assembly. We strongly regret that the top U.S. intelligence agency has been illegally spying on allies like our country. We strongly demand a thorough investigation and urge that similar incidents do not occur. The White House is in a mode of full damage control, and the National Security Council has confirmed that U.S. officials have been in touch with relevant allies and partners given these disclosures. And the Department of Justice is, is uh, leading a criminal investigation, so we're taking this very, very seriously. There is uh, uh, no uh, excuse for these kinds uh, of documents to be in the public domain. And while the Department of Justice continues its investigation into the source of the leaks, senior U.S. officials will not rule out the possibility that more documents could be made public. Mike Hanna, Al Jazeera, Washington.